Hello, my name is Dr. Sam High. I am an internal medicine doctor. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to Raw Talk. This is episode number 28. Raw Talk is where I go off the top of my head. It's unfiltered and unedited. I give you my thoughts and opinions on health. In this episode, I will be talking about high protein on carnivore. Will that damage your kidneys? There's a myth going around that just won't die. A myth that if you eat too much protein, especially on carnivore, you'll destroy your kidneys. IBUN, elevated creatinine, GFR slightly down, you're in kidney failure. That's false. Today, I am going to walk you through exactly why high protein on carnivore is not damaging your kidneys and why the real causes of kidney disease have nothing to do with meat and everything to do with insulin resistance. It has to do with inflammation and processed food. Let's cut through the confusion. Let's debunk the lies. Let's talk kidney function and protein intake from a science-based meat-eating perspective. So where did this fear of protein come from? Well, it started in the world of nephrology, doctors who treat kidney failure in patients who already had end-stage renal disease, reducing protein seemed to reduce the load on the kidneys. That led to the idea that protein is hard on the kidneys, even in people with normal kidney function. Here's the problem with that logic. It's like saying walking is bad because people with a broken leg shouldn't walk. It makes no sense to apply the rules for a damaged kidney to a healthy one. And the research, most of it comes from rat studies with pre-existing kidney damage. There are weak observational data, misinterpreting of lab values like BUN and creatinine. The myth just caught on. And now we've got bodybuilders, carnivores, and everyday people scared that their ribeye is going to melt their kidneys. Let's get one thing straight. Kidney failure is not caused by eating meat. The number one causes of chronic kidney disease in America are type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, metabolic syndrome. And what causes those? Chronic hyperinsulinemia, excess carbohydrates and sugars, obesity, processed seed oils and inflammation. So if you're blaming steak for kidney damage, you're looking at the wrong villain. The real killer is the high carb, high sugar, standard American diet that keeps your insulin high and your kidneys inflamed for years. What actually protects your kidneys? Stable blood sugar, lower insulin, lower systemic inflammation, more muscle mass, fewer glycation end products, all of which you get on carnivore. 
Let's talk basic kidney physiology. Your kidneys are filters. They filter your blood 24 seven. They maintain fluid balance, electrolyte levels, acid base status, Waste product removal like urea and creatinine. When you eat protein, it's broken down into amino acids. Some of that nitrogen becomes urea, which the kidneys excrete. So yes, your BUN might go up on carnivore. But that's not a bad thing. That just means... You're eating protein and digesting it. That's normal. The same goes for creatinine. More meat means more creatinine in the bloodstream. Also, if you're jacked or athletic, your creatinine is naturally higher because it comes from muscle turnover. And GFR which is glomerular filtration rate, that's estimated based on creatinine. So the more muscle you have or the more meat you eat, the lower your estimated GFR will be. But that doesn't mean your kidney function is worsening. It means the test is flawed in muscular meat eating individuals. So unless you have albumin in your urine, elevated cystatin C, or symptoms of renal failure, you're likely fine. Let's look at the actual science. I looked at some studies here. Study one, from the Journal of Nutrition, 2005, Healthy individuals were given high-protein diets for six months. No changes in kidney function markers. Study number two from Metabolism in 2010. Lifters, weightlifters consuming over two grams of protein per kilogram per day for a year had no signs of kidney dysfunction. Study number three from a a systemic review from Nutrients 2018. No evidence that high protein diets cause kidney damage in people with healthy kidneys. This was a systemic review. Study number four. Carnivore case reports. Anecdotes. Yes. People on carnivore with high protein intakes have stable or improved kidney markers, especially when insulin resistance improves. What's the bottom line? Protein does not damage healthy kidneys. Insulin resistance does, sugar does, inflammation does, and carnivore fixes all those. Now let's talk about people who already have stage three four, or five kidney disease? Should they avoid carnivore? That's a fair question. The mainstream advice is to restrict protein to slow the decline. But here's what they don't tell you. Protein restriction leads to muscle wasting. You get malnourished. And if you're eating low protein, high carb, you're just raising insulin and making the underlying problem worse. Here's what some red-pilled nephrologists are finding. When you put someone with CKD on a well-formulated carnivore or ketogenic diet, their blood sugar improves. Their blood pressure normalizes. Inflammation goes down. GFR stabilizes or even improves. Proteinuria decreases. We're not saying everyone with CKD should eat 200 grams of protein a day. But with careful monitoring, 
a higher fat, moderate protein carnivore diet just might, just might actually improve renal outcomes. And it does this because it addresses root causes. Here's what they don't tell you. Protein is not toxic. It's essential. Your body needs protein for muscle repair, for enzyme function, hormone production, for liver detox pathways, for skin, for hair, for bone, immune system, for kidney regeneration. Yes, even kidneys. <laughs> If you under eat protein, especially on a healing diet like carnivore, you lose muscle, your metabolism slows, your immune function tanks, you stay inflamed. If anything, you need more protein, not less, especially as you age or recover from chronic disease. And meat is the most bioavailable complete anti-inflammatory source of protein on the planet. If you're worried about your kidneys, eat clean, unprocessed meat, not seed oils, not grains, not fake vegan powders. Now let's talk about some common lab markers that freak people out. You have a high BUN, blood urea nitrogen. Good. That means you're eating protein and metabolizing nitrogen. Not a problem unless BUN is super high and you're dehydrated. You have a high creatinine. That's expected in people eating meat and or building muscle. That doesn't mean your kidneys are failing. You have a low GFR. GFR is estimated based on creatinine. More creatinine means artificially lower GFR. This is a false red flag in muscular, meat-eating people. Your uric acid is elevated. Early on in carnivore, this can rise temporarily, but it usually normalizes once insulin resistance improves. Don't panic because of one lab. Look at the whole picture, especially energy. Look at energy, look at infl inflammation markers, look at blood pressure, muscle mass, albumin levels, look at symptoms. You might be asking, okay, doc, but how much protein is too much? Here's a practical answer. If you're healthy, one to one and a half grams of protein per pound of ideal body weight is totally safe. That's 100 to 150 grams a day for most people. More if you weigh more. Even more if you're training hard. If you're healing from chronic illness or you're older, you may need more, not less, to avoid muscle loss. If you're stage four or five CKD, then yes, you need to individualize, maybe 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 grams per kilogram, depending on labs. But even then, focus on quality protein rather than just chasing low numbers. So let's sum it up. High protein does not cause kidney disease. Sugar, insulin resistance, and inflammation do. Meat is not the enemy. It's the cure. Protein is essential for healing and protecting your kidneys. Labs like BUN and creatinine are contextual, not absolute. If you're on carnivore and your doctor tells you to cut back on the steak because your creatinine is a little high, Send them this video. Or better yet, get a doctor who understands physiology. Leave the anti-meat propaganda 
from the 1990s. Eat neat, heal deeply, and live. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment below. If you want to follow me on Instagram for more content, my username is Sam underscore high MD. Once again, thank you so much, guys. I love you all. I really do. I'll see you in the next video.